Um, I want to say hi to all my friends. And um, I want to tell you something about God's Word, the Bible, how it changes me and how it changes you. So you're going to need your Bible again today. So you can see right here, I have a different kind of Bible with me today, and it has pictures in there. And maybe you've seen this Bible when you were at nursery, because we've often took out this Bible and looked at it. So I'm going to give you a moment and I'm going to ask mom and dad to go help you find your Bible, okay? Now, if you got your Bible, I want you to hold it and even hug it if you want to, because we're so grateful. We're, we're so thankful that God gave us this Bible. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, Give me life through your word, Psalm 119.37. And you know that this book changes us. It changes you and it changes me. And that means this book tells us how to love God and be his child. Do you like being God's child? I do. Um, when I was seven years old, Denise decided to ask God to be her father, heavenly father. And I asked him into my heart. And I told God that I wanted to be his child. And I asked him to forgive me for all the wrong things that I have done. And I love Jesus now. Do you? I hope you do too. So we're going to sing a special song. And it's called Love Him. And it just talks about all the love that we give God because we're his child. Love Him. Love him, love him, all you children. Jesus died just for you. Love him, love him, all you little children. Jesus died just for you. You know, your mom and dad might know the tune of that. Because when I was a little girl, we used to sing this song. And we would tell God that we loved him in the morning and we loved him in the noontime and we loved him when the sun goes down and you know what there might be a lot of words for you to sing but you know what you can do maybe your mom and dad will sing along and maybe you can hold up your hands and you can show god how much you love him okay are we ready love him love him all you little children, Jesus died just for you. Love him, love him. All you little children, Jesus died just for you. And the song that I remember singing when I was little, and I always used to like, we sing this one in Sunday school, and it would be one of my favorites. And I like to raise my hand so I let God know that I loved him. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime. Praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. So no matter what, if you don't know all the words to the songs, you can just lift up your hands and you can show God how much you love him and you want to sing praises to him. And God will see your heart and how much how much um, that you're trying to be connected with him. And that's also a good way to worship with God. Okay? So in the Bible, I want to tell you about this man who couldn't walk and he sat on a mat all day long. See, behind me, there's this picture and there's this mat on the ground. And um, this is Peter and John. And this is the man who couldn't walk. He didn't have, his feet couldn't work. Just look at your feet. Does your feet work? Mm hmm. Maybe you could show mom and dad right now how your feet work and you could walk across the room. You can use your walking feet. Okay. But you know what? This man here couldn't walk. And he was really sad. But God's friends, Peter and John, came along and told him that God loved him. 
and that God uh, wanted to help him um, by touching his feet and helping him walk again. So Peter and John helped this man walk again, and they prayed to God, and God healed the man, and he started walking. Why don't you walk again and show me, show or show mom and dad, because I can't see you, how you use your walking feet and walk, walk, walk. It's great to walk, isn't it? Well, look how excited this man was when he was able to walk again. And not only did God touch his feet so that he could walk again, but this man decided to ask Jesus in his heart. And now he is a child of God. And so he can sing along now with that song that we just sang about praise him in the morning and praise him in the noontime. Look how excited. I bet you he was praising God. Look at his hands up in the air. God's friends helped him. His feet began to work and he walks just like you and I do. Because God's word, the Bible, hold up your Bible, changes me. It changes you and it changes everybody. Isn't that wonderful to know that? So we're going to close in prayer. And like last week and the week before, we held our Bible as we pray. Can you do that again? Just hug this Bible, okay? Now close your eyes. Thank you for your Bible, God, that you gave us that changes me. Thank you that you helped the man's feet to walk again and that you showed your love through his friends. And now he's your child. He loves you and we love you too. Amen. Bye for now.